When I um, <clears throat> first knew there was something wrong, it actually, there was a lump on my shoulder. This lump just grew bigger and bigger, you know, it was so big that you could, it was about the size of a golf ball. They gave me a biopsy and of course the result was a tumour. Um, so finally they they told me that, um, well, I'm sorry, okay, we can't save your arm. It's so bad that we have to operate immediately. I broke down. I was really, really um, devastated with the whole thing when I heard the news. And I didn't know, you know, that it was that bad that I was going to eventually lose part of my limb. I felt really, really down. I mean, I felt like... I'm a hopeless case, you know, I'm now an invalid, you know, and I'm going to be hopeless for the rest of my life now that I'm home. What can I do, you know, um, for myself? I really did at one stage give up, you know, again, Helena from the Cancer Save kept coming to visit me. She says, don't worry, there'll be people here to help you if you ever, you know, um, feeling lonely or feeling like you you want to talk about anything that gets you down just call me I'll be here and she was true to her word she was really great she came around and she said just talk talk to me freely what's you know really bothering I said well I don't think I'll ever be normal again with this how am I going to carry on with my life she said you will you're a strong person you know you've got to want to do it though you know it's not going to be easy, but just look around you. You have your, your lovely house, your surrounding, and your whole prospect will change. And she was right, you know? And I did, I started to realize there's more to life than just feeling pity. You know, I was starting to feel sorry for myself. And um, I just shook myself out of it and decided, no, I'm gonna beat this thing, you know? And I'm going to try and be strong and just go forward and do what I can for myself. Yeah, I've learned that, um, you know, through what mum's had to go through, she's um, very courageous and, um, sorry. <laughs> and, um, you know, she's just determined to get on with life. Um, you know, she feels that um, she's got a second chance at that now. And yeah, she just grits her teeth and gets on with it. There's so many things I could say that I'm proud of her. You know, the fact that she's just getting on with life, that she's never ever moaned about her situation. Yeah, just everything that she's done to get to where she is now, which is almost back to normal as much as she can be.